What's up everybody? B-Boy Spaz here and today we're going to be looking at automation and reason. So pretty much automation is the recording of movements over time and basically what that's mainly used for is things like turning down your track at the end or like a fade out um, or making things pan and things of that sort. So in short, automation lets us actually move any one of these single knobs here in Reason and we can make them do whatever we want to. Now pretty much there's a couple of different ways we can do this and we're going to start out with pretty much the easiest way. So as you see here we have a lovely Maelstrom and the Maelstrom has a whole lot of just knobs and all kinds of cool stuff we can turn and have a good time with. So to start out with your automation, you just have to make sure that your track or your device is actually selected. You can hit record, and while it's playing, you can actually just move down your little knobs. Let me take off my metronome. And when you move these knobs, it just automatically records your automation. So now we get this green box around this knob letting us know that it's automated. As well as we have a new region here under our MIDI notes and it's letting us know what has been automated. So just keep in mind you can actually do this on multiple knobs at the same time really. So I can come back through and automate even more. So now I have two lines of automation, and that's cool. So this is the easiest way to do your automation in Reason. The other way you can do it is by actually coming into the close-up view of your MIDI notes and automation. And we actually have a button up here, Automation. So when I'm selected on this track, it's going to show me what I can automate. So if I wanted to come through and do the resonance of filter B, now I have a track for it. I can take my pencil tool, draw a new region, and then with the pencil tool I can actually just draw in my automation changes. So there it is. So this is the second way you can automate. Now, it's not really a third way, but if you've ever thought to yourself, well, I'm using a lot of effects, how do I automate those? So, for example, if I were to create, let's say a chorus on my Maelstrom, there's no track for it, it's just this effect. But there still are knobs and things that I can change. So if I actually want to automate this stuff, I just have to right click on the device and then create track for whatever device it is. And now I get a track for it. And yet again, I could just hit record and then come in. Record my automation. You can get all kinds of fun sounds when you start playing around with automation. And now look, we have all of our different lines of automation. So that is automation and reason. If you all have any questions, feel free to hit me up. I'm always here. Don't forget to subscribe to the page. I'm going to be doing all kinds of awesome stuff. I'm going to keep up on the Reason and Ableton tutorials, so don't miss out on it. And Happy New Year's. Um, 2010 is in a couple of hours, so have a good night and stay up. All right. Peace.